How would you describe the event? The, the event is a conspiracy thriller that takes an every ordinary man and watches his um, journey in, in getting sucked into this very complex web. And it, it's really um, it's inspired by movies of you know great 70s thrillers like Three Days of the Condor, um, The Conversation, The Parallax View. And it's a story that even though it starts off with one average guy, it builds into very epic kind of proportions globally and beyond. Just in the first episode, which was incredible. Thank you. Um, the structure, it, it was such that we saw the end first and it kind of built to that. What's the structure of the following episode? Is it well, all like that? <coughs> you know what? Once you get past the pilot, you're kind of free to tell stories in a lot of different ways, you know. And there's bookend episodes where you're given the ending, much like Inception, you know, where you're giving, you know. And there's episodes that we're playing with time and we're catching up to things. I think that the language of the show becomes much more understandable and much more, um, it'll be a fun part of the show. So some things are very linear, but we're always moving ahead. We're always moving the story ahead. We have occasional flashbacks to 1945, you know, but for the most part, you're not gonna redredge information that you already kind of know or feel that you know. And how far ahead are you with the planning? Have you got this season mapped out, future seasons? Yeah, well, when I got on board, Nick had kind of <coughs> had kind of a road map for season three and beyond. And now we kind of know where it's going. Um, you know, we know where season one ends. We know how we want to parlay that into season two. We know where episode 10, we have to. So, and we have a very good collective group of um, writers and filmmakers who really understand how to tell this kind of story. So, yes, we do have it planned out.